Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel here with Electric Cuts. And uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while, guys. I've been super busy. Uh, in July, I ended up registering my business. And uh, I've been just, uh, you know, trying to do all the business things, trying to keep up with taxes, um, just registering. You know, just, just registering is a lot of work. You gotta find a name for your business. You have to uh, go and get stuff notarized. You have to go to the courthouse. Um, you have to set up um, an what is it a taxpayer identification number. There's so many things that that go along with owning a business or starting a business that take a lot of time and energy, guys. But um, it's it's I think it's worth it uh, with respect to the tax breaks that you get and um, just doing things right guys paying your taxes uh, is important that way you don't get into any legal problems uh, also getting uh, insurance for your business so many so many things but I've been busy with that guys so I'm gonna try to post more videos from now on but this video I wanted to make about a specific machine that I got let me show you the machine it's back there what do you guys think it is Let me show you guys. So this guys is the Xmark Commercial 30. It's an old machine. I know it's not, you know, an unboxing or anything like that. This this machine's pretty old. In fact, it appears to be about four years old. Um, if you look in here, April of 2016. So a little bit over four years old since the day that it was manufactured. Um, but it's a it's a good machine guys let me tell you um, <clears throat> the reason I got this more is because I started seeing online a lot of guys raving about you know the Toro Time Master the the other ones the Toro Turf Master the X mark commercial 30 uh, so I said you know what let me let me give it a try let me see if I can find one so I searched on uh, eBay I searched on Google um, I searched on Facebook marketplace I ended up finding this machine at Facebook on Facebook marketplace and uh, I got it for a really really good deal guys um, I got it for uh, 400 bucks I know it's a four-year-old machine but hey this machine brand new if you were out to go to the dealership and get one brand new it run you over two thousand dollars maybe a thousand eight hundred plus taxes you'd be in the two thousand dollar range so for a fraction of that maybe like what it what would that be like a third a fourth of that price or under a fourth of that price I was able to get one that was used but since this is a commercial um, mower it's very it's very well built so if anything breaks, I can find parts for it. I can replace them. I can replace the transmission. I can replace the, um, what are these called? The, uh, the pulleys, the spindles, uh, the carburetor, anything, anything that I need to replace, I can replace it guys. And it would come out, I would still be way under the $2,000 mark. So. I, I thought it was a good deal. I went ahead and got it. I've been using it for a while, guys. So what do you think? Or what do I think about this mower? I think it's a very good investment. Even if uh, if you were to buy it new, it would take a little bit longer to get your money back. But it does cut down on mowing time. And uh, anything that you can cut down on time-wise in a lawn care business is is a good thing why do I say that because when you cut down on your mowing time you're in essence making uh, a bigger profit or you're making money quicker so therefore you can do more lawns throughout the day you can be less tired and uh, it can be more profitable guys uh, some of the negatives on this machine um, it's heavy it is a heavy machine it does take some getting used to 
uh, turning it, uh, reversing it, pulling it back, you do build a lot of strength when you use this machine. I've, I've felt my body getting stronger as I use it just because it is a heavy machine so you do have to muscle it around a little bit. Um, so I think I already mentioned it, Zachary from Make Money Mowing has this uh, specific machine. Obviously it's in better shape than mine. His, uh, he bought his brand new and I'm sure he takes care of his machine. Um, but yeah guys, the another one of the cons of this machine is these uh, front wheels. To adjust them you gotta pull this thing, take the wheel off and then put it back. This is kind of a hassle in my opinion. Uh, I wish it had the adjustments like the Turf Master. The Turf Master, I believe, has something similar to to the back here. You, you pull it up, and then you can adjust it and set it back in place. That's a lot easier. These they these things kind of hurt your your fingers when you pull it up and you try to hold it up while you're trying to take the tire on and off, but. Uh, that's something that I can live with for, you know, for a fraction of the price. It's heavy when you when you push it, when you're turning it. You really you you really have to use some strength to push it down. Once you push it down, you turn it, and you can hear the gears on this. It's, it's old. You can hear the gears aren't brand new, but it still it still moves. The self propel works pretty well. Um, the spindles appear to be working well there's a little bit of squealing on this thing I think it's this I'm not sure uh, I gotta look into it but um, yeah all in all it's it's been a it's been a good machine it's helped me to cut down on mowing time especially on my bigger properties on my smaller properties. sometimes I'll just use my 21 inch push <clears throat> just because they're so small and there's a there's no use in, in putting this big machine on there. Yeah, guys, so really nice machine. Um, let me show you my setup here. So this is my truck. It's a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. I'm not gonna show you the front of it because it's got my license plate there. Uh, and then I've got my little trailer here. It's a little uh, what is it? Five by eight, little Lowe's trailer that I purchased from a friend of mine. Uh, and let me show you a little bit of of my gear here. So I've got my Echo. What? Uh, which one is this one? This one. It's a little Echo. I don't know if it has the the number on here. Oh, there it is. And this one's the PB twenty five twenty little handheld blower. For when I want to just blow something small off, and then I got this Shindawa, Shindawa. I don't know exactly how to say it. This one's a backpack blower. I think this is a. This one's the EB600 RT. I think this one's very, very, very similar to the Echo 580, if I'm not mistaken. This thing cranks up really, really quick. It's got a big old gas tank. I like it. It works. It's been working well. Um, I got my two cycle mix. It's a uh, 50 for the Echoes. So this one goes for the Shindaiwa backpack blower, my handheld Echo, and then for my weed eater, my uh, number one weed eater, I'm using a PAS 225, the Echo, and this one it has the PAS system. So this one's got a, is attachment capable. I haven't bought any attachments for it, but I'm thinking about making or doing a hack on some of the attachments that I, that I already have and trying to fit them to this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go, go ahead and do that or not. I don't wanna mess it up. It's it's an expensive machine. I, I got this one brand new, guys. These things run you like, uh, you don't wanna know. Um, that one was about 150 bucks. I'll tell you the price on this one. This one was about, 300 after taxes this one I got with the um, X mark 30 so I got a bundle deal it was this one and this one for 
500 bucks. So essentially this one came out to 100 bucks and then the X mark came out to 400. So and then I got some fuel, regular fuel. I got my little sprayer. This saves so much on weed eating guys. Um, if, if you don't do this, I really recommend it. Get some weed killer, some of the good stuff. Let me show you what, the, what I mean by the good stuff. You want to look? Oh. Sorry about that. It kind of changed screens on me. So you want to look for a, a weed and grass killer that has a 50, close to 50 or 50% 50, uh, glyphosate. And uh, I usually put about the full cap and I put it in a gallon of water. So the full cap is probably about what? I don't know. Four or five ounces, I believe. I don't know. Let me see on here. Yeah, it's probably about five or six ounces. So I make it an extra super concentrate to be able to kill those weeds. Uh, so I'll spray them when I go do a lawn. And then uh, the next time I come back, they're dead. I'll weed eat them. Or sometimes I'll just leave them there. Check out all these buzzards, guys. Let me see if I can zoom in on them. It's a lot of buzzards. Yep. Yeah, guys. So, uh, and then here's my little Troy built TB110. I use this one on some smaller yards. I got a little hack from. Uh, it was the small engine saloon, I believe. So this little, this little um, arm here, I moved it out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. It's uh, moved a little bit to the left, and that in essence kind of um, supercharges this mower, makes it faster. You're able to cut grass faster. Um, it doesn't bog down as much. So. I really really like this machine it's a uh, it's been a good machine yeah guys so go ahead and comment down below share this video if uh, you found it interesting with somebody who might appreciate the content like comment and definitely definitely subscribe to my channel guys we will see you on the next video I forgot to get things started guys Let's see if we even have some fuel in here. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's full. It's full. I usually keep my tanks full. Um, just so they'll be ready to go. Let's go ahead and put that on there, right? Sort of in spill. We'll put this to choke. Let's see if it'll kick on. Hey guys it's a it's a strong machine it's heavy but it's strong does a good job all right you guys comment share like subscribe do all that good stuff and we will see you on the next video